All right, so it seems that every year the summer temperature is hotter than the last. Even a month ago, some countries in the UK experienced dangerously hot days. Now, Principal Director of the Met Service, Evan Thompson, is here to tell us what's happening with the meteorological world and the projections for the future. Good morning to you, Evan. Good morning. It's good to see you. It's great to see what you too. I've never been upset today, with you. <laughs> what is the forecast for today, Well, Evan? we expect <laughs> not really high temperatures today, but we do expect some rising waters in the water. Try to make sure well, that actually, when Twitter are done with you. <laughs> <laughs> we expect yes. rain today. We yes. Oh, yeah. We've been having a lot of rain, right? Is yes. that usual at yes. this time in, of the year? It's not unusual at all. Okay. Um, we would not normally at this time of the year get because of the tropical waves moving across and then we're moving closer and closer. Well, this is now almost September, which is usually our peak where mm -hmm. the hurricane season yeah. is concerned. So mm -hmm. we expect it's usually weather. April to like October-ish, no? We what do you the, mean? The showers, showers. Oh, I thought you meant the hurricane season. No, sir, yeah. that is okay. June to November. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what, uh, Evan, come That's on. That's right. go to weather school. I, I Hello. Hello. <laughs> By watching him. Exactly. <laughs> from about May, from May. Okay. From May going right through till October, right. we would normally have the, yeah. the rain. I mean, there's a, a low... Um, time during the, the summer months of July, August, and then it picks up again in September. Wow. So Usually. let me ask you, in all your years of weather, yes. did you ever think you would see what is happening in the world happening? No. Uh, no. I mean, we, we were taught while we were in school that weather changes, the climate doesn't. <laughs> the, wow, uh, really? Yeah, we, I mean, the weather is what we would expect to change on a day-to-day -day basis, but then when it becomes stable, we call it climate, in terms of over a period of time. And that was considered, you know, the, the, it, that one would not change. You have a regular climate. Jamaica looks like this and will always look like this. But... Who would have known eh, yeah. that the climate is changing? Now we're talking about climate change more than anything mm -hmm. else, yeah. you know, um, because it really is impacting all of us in so many ways. Yeah, it has mm -hmm. really gone to the front of the discussions, really. It and for has. Us, it's a small it has. country here. That's right. And, we're and, getting and, and the bulk of that problem, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, we, we do get impacted more than a lot of other people yeah. who probably are more the cause of the problem mm -hmm. than we are. But, you know, as small islands, we will deal with this rising sea, temperature, sea levels. We will deal with the higher temperatures and um, they're affecting how it affects our crops and yeah. you know everything happens along our coast so you know we're very wary about some of the coastal effects that we could have from mm. let's let's talk in layman's terms about what's been going on particularly yeah. in the last couple of months i would say with the okay. unusual heat heat you're talking about in and jamaica this, yes Caribbean, well, we're gonna i'm gonna bring elsewhere. it home okay but obviously benchmarked and over overarched or underneath this this new yeah normal mm -hmm. that we're being told to expect mm -hmm. as we look ahead yes, a couple yes, of years yes. to what will be unusually hot temperatures and when we yeah. hear that a lot of us out here are sweating already because if it's going to get worse than what mm -hmm. we felt mm -hmm. and they're saying particularly in our part of the world right um what did the story say here mm -hmm. where where we don't really have like mitigation like winter right. and so 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 okay. i mean and even then winters don't look like winters in parts of the world mm -hmm. glaciers are melting yeah. I mean, the seasons really are looking a lot different than they they, they did before and it it is a little bit less predictable you know what we're going to be expecting because we, there were some general patterns that we've been following yeah. and all of a sudden we're breaking all the molds we're seeing the kinds of temperatures you're hearing about in europe mm -hmm. um way past what we have ever experienced mm -hmm. here in the 40. tropics mm -hmm. in, yeah mm -hmm. for and even higher than 40. That's we're, yes, we're seeing some really high temperatures are, are hearing about them. And it's, it, it, it is really a new normal mm -hmm. that yeah. is being established. Um, we're not really expecting that every year it will be the same, but there is going to be an, an, a long-term trend of increasing temperatures. And it's not moving. Um, it, it, it is really exponential, those changes. I mean, gradually now, and then it's becoming a lot steeper, mm -hmm. that curve going to the higher temperatures as we move into the future. So it's, it's really... Uh, not something to look forward to. Maybe many of us will be gone, but there mm. will likely be people <laughs> still, and they will have to struggle with that change. Oh, yeah, it is, that, that is my concern. Now. That yeah. is my concern. No, I, I mean, the question here asks about 
preventative measures or how yes. it can be prevented. But I'm thinking, hey, girl, we're how going do you through, prevent we're this? Prevention. Yeah, what are you going to do to prevent this? What, yeah. what, are we, what, what can we do now? That's a question. Yeah, what most of us have had to do is learn how we're going to adapt to these changes. Yes, we're talking about the warming, the temperatures, and that really is the start of something else. Take, for example, we talk about the El Nino phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about El Nino, it's really a phenomenon that speaks about a change in temperatures in the seas in a particular area yeah. in the world. But because of that one change, so many other climatic changes take place and so many other areas are impacted. So we're seeing a change in temperature in one place causing changes in climate patterns and flooding here and droughts there and all kinds of other things happening right across the world. So can you imagine when in a wider scale temperatures are increasing, then yeah. we're going to be seeing some real flipping and flopping, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. going across across the world, things just turning upside down. Preventative going through the gate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mitig mitigation. Um, well, yeah, we still... How so do we slow it? We, yeah, the, the thing is, we can do our part. You see, we're talking about electric vehicles now, and we, we, we're talking about a number of other things, including the putting more trees, you know, to help with, with dealing with the, 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 what we call the carbon sinks, mm, and yeah. carbon, you know. Um, so we, we are trying to do some things in our areas, but we're just such a small island mm -hmm. when compared to where a lot of the changes really are taking place, you know, all these huge industrialized countries and, you know, that depend on industrialization for their livelihoods, or at least that's how they see things. Um, it would mean a complete change in how you, you look at development and, and, of course, technology, seeing how um, we can really shift from some of those ways um, into other ways to produce the same things. Yeah, yeah. But wouldn't you know, those big changes the there redound to us? Because whatever they can do to help start slowing. Yes, right? it will impact us. Okay. It will make the change eventually. Um, it... it it doesn't mean that if we slow it down now, tomorrow, mm -mm. immediately mm -hmm. things will that change. That generation thing we're looking at? Yes, and we've and, been building. And plus, and, and plus we've built such a momentum yeah. going forward that it will take a while, even if we stop producing <laughs> right now, it will take Jeez. a while before we start to see the temperatures coming back down and then the other impacts being released. But it afterwards. can happen, is what it, you're it saying? It can happen. happen, it can happen. I mean, there, there has, have been some targets that were set in terms of how much will we allow the temperature to, to increase. Um, you've heard about the Paris Agreement mm -hmm. and yeah. talk about 1.5 mm -hmm. degrees is mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. what is really hoped for but we're so close to the 1.5 already, already. Get mm -hmm. that that getting uh, stopping at 1.5 is really yeah. very unlikely at this point although if we are really serious and we make the change today it is a possibility oh gosh do you think you guys get a lot of pressure you that, is my <laughs> that is my question to you Evan. Uh, i mean yes. you know we especially the online community they hold or Weather reporters, yes. you know, to it because you're of course. you're you're but basically I mean, trying to work with God. Yeah, essentially, and, yeah, and essentially. I mean, you know, essentially, but at the same time, there is the science, yeah. and the science is improving. So over time, we are seeing that there is an improvement. I mean. 20 years ago, probably, we wouldn't have told you that you were going to get three days of rainfall and you really got three days of rainfall. Am I right or am I right? You may be right. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> no, so, Mr. Forrester. No, no. We're in Florida. We we're not love, calling any names We here, love, but. he was brilliant. <laughs> yes, I mean, he was. And, yeah, and, he was and, excellent and, at his job. And even the best forecaster yes. makes those Mis yeah. mis missteps in terms yeah. of you predict something and something doesn't work out the way that you expect. Mm -hmm. And we go through that every day, so we do live with the can't the, the criticisms <laughs> we have no. to and we have to bounce back and we have to improve on the science yeah. get better and better and better and of course you will be pleased yes yeah. so but in the meantime very important you're saying right. walk with an umbrella and also a fan yes <laughs> walk and with a raincoat and also a portable yes. ac that's you right, can find it on that, that's you, right. You, you, you never know you have to adapt you have to seriously put so that's my to what do you what are you telling us to yes. do essentially just yes you really just have to you know that this is going to happen so you prepare yourself for what is going to happen mm -hmm. yeah um, so it is it's just the the reality but at the same time you do what you can to prevent it getting as bad as it could get mm -hmm. certainly you yeah. know personal responsibility and information and information, information. Um, 
Credible. I was just <laughs> going to say. You. Credible information. Because <laughs> let me right tell you, this yes. information is as bad as the climate yes. and when you And when you're talking about climate change and so, think about the IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. That's the scientific panel right. okay. that yeah, always yeah, gets yeah, the information, and sends out the reports. IPCC. Right. IPCC. IPCC. Yes. IPCC. Right. That's right. Right. So when you hear the climate change deniers, just look at them and say, go to the IPCC website. That's right. There Facts. you go. And read. Science. What is Claire doing on there, Yeah, Jesus? I was wondering uh, who was that behind okay. the camera. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, we don't have That's unpredictable as no, the weather. No, 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 I swear people were here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're very bright, but sometimes they're not so well. Oh, and that includes you, my friend. Everyone. But that's part of the love. Thank you so this much for being here this morning. It has been a pleasure. Yeah. Great Thank discussion to have. Thank Principal you. Director of the Met Service. One time he used to be in every day showing us the word. And now yes. I'm saying, office to meeting. You know the pandy? Evan Thompson, when we return from the break, we are going to talk about um, an amazing man, his life, his legacy, his work, and why we will always love him, our dear friend and colleague, Francois Saint-Just. <laughs>